there's going to be a little change of plans here. I'm starting to get really sick of narrating everything on his channel, so I think I'm going to let him do it, and I'll do the lady voices. Yeah, we're just going to switch it up Since there. I'm a lady. Yeah, I was trying to, trying to do something. So it clearly didn't work, so I'm just going to do what comes naturally and take this series from here on out. So apologies to anybody who's seen it and thought maybe it was like a little bit ridiculous and... I apologize for that. I was just trying to do something, but we're working on our voice work. acting, and honestly, this game's gonna get super serious from what we heard, and we don't want people to not take it seriously. We want them to be as into it as we are, because we're really, really invested in this game. So, without further ado, we have a new, much manlier sounding Achan than myself. Yeah, so, so I'm gonna let's be just Achan. say that he went through really hardcore puberty since the last episode. Yeah, and now he's a big black guy. Or yeah, yeah, Ashan's <laughs> a big black guy. That's yeah, we're gonna we're gonna go with that, so Okay. Even though they love this village and would never dream of leaving, maybe ever since my parents left, they've been feeling lonely. My mother is my grand my grandparents' daughter, after all. We're all family. We used to be close. When I was little, I'd always come over to stay with my grandparents, sometimes for weeks at a time. But ever since we moved, I haven't been in contact with my grandparents nearly as much. My mother kept saying we should go to see my grandparents at some point, together as family. But there was always something that got in the way, something that seemed so urgent at the time, and we were, we were so never able to go. Ah, butchered it. <laughs> Keep going. Nailed it. <laughs> Nailed it. <laughs> but my parents are getting old now. Grandparents. Grandparents. <sighs> Keep. <sighs> okay, yeah. But my grandparents are getting old now. They may not be around for much longer. Oh, don't say Aww, that. Oh, grandma's awesome. Grandma's never gonna die. Oh, don't say that, man. Be, ne be careful what you wish for mm -hmm. or say. That's what I've always been told. Mm -hmm. Maybe that's what my grandmother is hinting at. I can't keep ignoring them. They're an important part of my life. To and I love them dearly. <laughs> it's like you predicted the future. Wow, okay. I I, I love weird. them dearly. Yeah, I I double just dearly. added that double dearly. Yeah, she's she's an awesome grandmother. Mm -hmm. I would love having a grandma like that. I don't want them to feel I do kind of have a like, grandma like that. Oh, you do? Yeah, she's she's pretty oh, yeah. bad. Well, I hardly ever see her. Yeah. Uh, any any hoosies, um, I don't want them to feel left out. Unwanted. I don't want them to worry about me either. If I can, I want to make them happy. To make them proud. They've given so much to me. And now it's my turn to do the same. I won't forget. When I get back home, I'll phone you. I'll keep in touch. I promise. Please do. And get Irie to come see us at some point. Although she's getting older, she'll always be my little girl. I will. I'll take care of her. I think she misses you too. Huh. <laughs> if she does, she'd never say. But I appreciate the sentiments all the same. My gr <clears throat> my grandmother gets to her feet, rising on unsteady legs. She yawns, stretching, the bundle of knitting held underneath her arm. No, oh, there she goes. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm always startled <laughs> that was, by that. That was startling a little bit. Right. This chat of ours has quite tired me out. Perhaps I'll be able to finally get some sleep. She smiles. I'm kind of turning into Mr. Krabs. <laughs> Will you run along to bed soon, too? Y yeah. In a moment. Good, good. My grandmother nods approvingly. I not want to be too tired tomorrow. Now she's Sarah Palin. I'm just... Just go with it. Just go with yeah, it. Yeah, just, just do it. Do it up. It's the last of your day here, after all. She frowns. Poor grandma. She looks surprised at this knowledge, 
even though she was the one who pointed it out. Goodness. Where did all the time go? It went in the blink of an eye. <laughs> I'm sorry. What? what? <laughs> it's just going full Midwestern granny. I'm just going to let it happen. What, what, what are you going to go with? Like, <laughs> I'm going to see the grand. She's gonna, just going to be Sarah Palin. Like 60-year-old Sarah Palin. 60-year-old Sarah pa- Palin? Yep. Uh, she got the hair. <laughs> um, <clears throat> we, can, we can roll with it. It'll be fine. A yawn. Well, that's the curse of getting old. Life starts to pass you by. And you don't even realize it until it's too late. Dunk. <laughs> that, that would be dark, Jesus oh, Christ. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Don't fucking say that. Oh, God. Okay. Oh, we're serious, <clears throat> piece of shit. Sorry. I, I had to. It, yeah, it was, it was, the opportunity it was, presented I, itself. I, I had to do something. <laughs> All right. I returned to the hallway, staring down at the old, bulky phone set on the table. It's fairly late now, 11.30 p.m., and I'm not sure whether Saki will appreciate it if I call her at such an hour. She'll be up. She's always up. She yeah. never sleeps. Will she even be awake? Saki typically doesn't go to bed until around 2 or 3 in the morning. Even on school nights, she has to preserve those dark bags under her eyes after all. Some I feel you, of, sister. Some kind of fashion statement. <laughs> However, taking care of her noisy sibling seems to be ty- tiring her out. Besides, I'm fairly sleepy myself. I keep yawning, and I keep, can't stop myself. Maybe I'll skip calling her for a day. It's far too late. I'll be going back home tomorrow anyway. I'll see her soon enough as it is. I'm sorry, Saki. Please, hang in there. I know you can make it without murdering your siblings. I believe in you. <laughs> Courage. <laughs> Courage. Oh, do you get to be grandpa now? Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, I get to be grandpa. All right. Get your I grandpa look at my up. plate dubiously. 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 <laughs> ah, d- that's okay. I can have two. Dubious. Else. Yeah, I should know that. Well, I'm. Come on. <laughs> There's enough rice on there to sink a battleship. <laughs> My grandmother doesn't really think I can eat all that, all of that, does she? Eat up now, dear. It's your last day, and I need to feed you up as much as possible so you explode and you can't go home. That's nice. Evidently she does. The rice isn't even on the only part of the meal. There are pickled vegetables and broiled fish, too. Even for my grandmother, who often prepares large meals. This seems a little bit excessive. Once more, I have to wonder if this is a practical joke orchestrated by my mother. Did she tell my grandmother my appetite is this big just to get revenge on me for ruining her gardenias? (laughs) Did he eat them? I think he just ran over them or something. Ah, yeah, something like that. If he ate her flowers, then he needs to calm down. (laughs) (laughs) High in, high in fiber. I'm sorry, Mother. It was an accident. I didn't mean to water them too much. I thought I was helping. <laughs> she dumped a bucket of water on her garden and was like, Oh, look, I pitched it. Whoosh. I really, seriously thought I was helping. I didn't do anything to deserve this. Ah. Uh, th- thank you very much. I appreciate the sentiment, but... Aren't you going to have any, too? Me? Oh, no, 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 I'm far too old to eat so heartily in the mornings. It'll give me stomach problems and uh, aggravate my irritable bowel syndrome. (laughs) I made this all for you, dear, so eat up. All for for me? Yeah, all for you, hon. Who else would it be for, Grandpa? (laughs) I don't feed him. The cat next door? Oh. My grandmother's amicable laugh makes me makes my insides churn. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. I don't want to force this food much, much food into my body. I'll explode. That's the idea, honey. But I don't want to do it. 
but my grandmother did make all this for me. It's Minnesota nice. You can't say no. <laughs> Silence. <laughs> I can't imagine how long it must have taken. I don't have any choice, do I? Resigned to my fate, I start to eat. Ho, 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 you better do what Chio says, lad. Wait a minute, he wasn't laughing. Well, he is now, but he looks really concerned about it. She could be scary at times. S scary? Yes. And she was working hard on that meal for you. She said it would be a breakfast to remember. You wouldn't forget it in a hurry. Well, I'm sure I remember it all. All right. Although, maybe not in the way my grandmother wants me to. The cowed look on my grandfather's face confirms my earlier worries. There's nothing I can do. I'll just have to do my best. Thank you for the food. I've never heard somebody bitch about this much about giant amounts of free food. I'd be so happy. Uh, 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 yeah, I'd be like as much... Hey, Grandma made you a breakfast feast. I'd be like, Grandma, I love you. As hungry as I am throughout the day, that mm -hmm. would be a miracle. Mm-hmm. Ah. Be quiet, stomach. Wait a minute. Oh, no. the, mine just gurgled, too. <laughs> <Did> like... <laughs> <it really? laughs> Uh-oh. Please, be quiet. This this is not good because my stomach is growling just like his. Yeah, but yours. It's is probably because I'm watching him wanting. Oh my god. Yours no. Yours is because you're hungry. His is because he feels like he's gonna throw up because he's full of rice and fish for yeah, breakfast. But, yeah, but seeing this dialogue here is making my it's giving me that Jedi mind trick. <laughs> Come on, cut that out. It's embarrassing. I sigh. Oh, <clears throat> I sigh, my head hanging in humiliation. <sighs> As I walk down the familiar path that leads to Noelle's home, my stomach keeps making these strange noises. She's gonna make fun of you. <laughs> yeah, she always makes fun of him. It always sounds as though I have some kind of little monster living inside my body. I'm worried. If I stop walking, I'll fall over, crushed under the weight of my own insides. And I won't be able to get back up again. Oh. Oh dear. Finally, I reach Noelle's home. She's already standing outside, waiting for me, right next to a sign that says, For Sale. It's a pleasant day, not too warm, and not too hot. The sunlight beats down gently overhead making Noelle's silver hair shimmer. Her skin looks a lot healthier lit up by the sun like that. She smiles when she sees me and gives me a small wave. Hello, Archon. Hey, I hope I didn't keep you waiting. No, it's no problem. I enjoy it. You enjoy waiting? Yeah. Waiting for something special makes the time go by more slowly. So it makes you appreciate the little things more. The way the grass moves and the wind, the interesting clouds in the sky, the feeling of sunshine against your face. They're all things to be appreciated. I see. I understand what she means, but I think I'm too anxious to enjoy standing around idly not doing anything. I'd get restless. I wish I could think like that. Maybe I'd worry less then. Clearing one's mind can be useful. It's best done outside. Inside, the air feels too... oppressive. Outside, it's cleaner. Maybe in the countryside. But not in the city. There are too many people. Far too many. And that's not counting the cars. That's a shame. The two of us stand for a while, enjoying the weather. I'm unable to remain comfortable in this position, though. 
I can still feel the breakfast I had earlier curdling at the bottom of my stomach. Just thinking about it makes me feel ill. Do you want to head off? I feel like I could do with some exercise. Ah. <laughs> Noah offers a small, rare smile. Yes. Let's. Words can't describe how relieved I am to see her smiling like that. I was worried, though. After our conversation yesterday, she wouldn't be feeling very well. I can still see it now, at the back of my mind. I was about to say, don't do a flashback, I'll cry. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, good. No, no. <laughs> we, was... we just have to describe it. We don't have to see the picture again. Those light blue eyes filled with tears, sticking her eyelashes together in clumps and trickling down her cheeks. Her body trembled back then, almost as though it was going to fall apart. I hope she feels better. If she isn't, then at least this trip will do her some good. I have a few ideas about where I want to go. Even though I am feeling a little dubious about my plan, given what happened the other day when I went to buy Saki her present, still, this is for Noelle's sake. And I know just how much she likes going to that store, strange though it is. Oh cool, we get to go see the angry lady with, with purple Suzumi. hair. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. I can't I can do it. I think I can. No, I can do it. I can face my demons. Or in Suzumi's case, witches. <laughs> oh come oh not rude. It off. Rude. <laughs> or is it vampires? I don't know. But I'm going to do my best. Uh, John? Noelle's voice draws me out of my worries. She's looking up at me, a little closer than she was before. Her pale fingers tug at my sleeve, her large blue eyes fixed upon me. Since I didn't expect her face to be so close, I start in surprise when I see her. What? What is it? Well, um... Amu called me yesterday. Of all of the things Noelle could have said, I didn't expect that. Amu did? But why? She sounded very excited. She said a lot of strange things I don't remember. She was talking very fast, so it was hard to understand her. That sounds like Amu, all right. And she also said... Congratulations. Huh? Why was she congratulating you? I was confused too. I thought that was something people say when you learn you're going to have a baby. But I'm not going to have a baby. Not to my knowledge. Well, that'd be pretty unlikely. Indeed. If I'd done anything like that, that would result in giving birth. I don't remember it at all. Uh, I think that'd be something you'd remember, though. I think so, too. But there are certain types of mushroom which, when ingested, can cause amnesia, such as the Amanita muscuriara. Th that's a pretty grim suggestion, you know. I know. It's very unlikely. A mere possibility. Yet, if that were true, why would Amu know about it? <laughs> I know Amu can be annoying sometimes, but I don't think she's in any in nefarious scheme to poison you with dangerous mushrooms. That's what I thought. So it's very odd. But then Amu said something else. Wh what else did Amu say? And do I even want to know? A good 99% of everything she says is nonsense. Still, I think I'd, it'd be best, be in my best interest to know what Amu has been trying to indoctrinate Noel with. That way, I can do my best to try and reduce the damages. <laughs> she said congratulations for going on a date with Achan. Be sure to do me proud. That's what she said. 
If my face was red before, it's even redder now, just like the cap of that Anamita Mount Muscura mushroom Noel was talking about. Why would Amu phone Noel to say something like that? I already told her it wasn't a date. Why does she have to poke her nose into things that doesn't concern her? I bet she did it on purpose. Just so Noel and I would have this awkward conversation all for her amusement. Maybe that is what Amu meant when she said tell me if anything interesting happens yesterday. What a little douchebag. Achan, your face is red. It is it now? I didn't realize. <laughs> yes, it is. And it's gone even redder now. I, I had no idea. Achan, I'm curious. Is this a date? Noelle's eyes are curious, all encapsulating. The questioning tone of her voice doesn't leave me any room to escape. There's no way I can dodge the question. Uh, wh what do I say? Yes! <laughs> yes, it's a date. <laughs> oh, obviously we're choosing this. I look up at Noel, hesitantly, unsure, calling it a date in front of Noel when I specified to Amu the other day it wasn't, m it wasn't Mike. Seem there to should be a comma there, don't what? worry. <laughs> the other day that it wasn't, comma, might seem yeah. too wishy-washy. Okay. <laughs> yeah, might but. seem too wishy-washy, but at the same time, is that a good reason to say no? It is true that I never really considered it as a date, and I've only ever seen Noel as a friend, but it is also true that she is very precious to me. If possible, I want to make her happy. I want to see her smile. W well, I, I... I don't think... I didn't think it was a date, but... It, if you want it to be, then, um... I, I don't see any reason why it can't be just this once. That might be interesting. I've never been on a date before. Well, neither has have I. I don't really th know what you're meant to do. The ultimate goal is to have a child, I think. <laughs> I could barely read that. <laughs> Taking it a bit fast there, aren't well, we, that, sweetie? Well, that escalated quickly. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Hey, everybody on the first date? Yeah. Mm, wow. It's like... Hello, I love you. Let's conceive. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah. This is why you don't go on blind dates, kids. Yeah, and birth rates were really behind. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh, God. Okay. I'm good. All um, right. Okay. okay. <clears throat> yeah. I guess it... Wait, what? Sh she said it so nonchalantly, it completely caught me off guard. I apologize. I was merely repeating something I saw in a pamphlet in the doctor's office last month. You went to the doctor? I had the flu a short while ago. I'm fine now. Th that's good. I'm glad you're, you got better, but, uh, that isn't the issue here. I hardly think we're at the stage where we should have a, b a baby. <laughs> Noelle seems, looks troubled. She bows her head yeah. in apology, her hair falling over her shoulders. I am sorry. It was just a joke. I was trying to diffuse the tension. I thought you seemed anxious. However, I think I made it worse. Well, I wasn't expecting it, so I was surprised. That's natural. If you weren't expecting it, of course you'd be surprised. But Achan... Yes? It is true that I am confused. I don't really know what you're meant to do on a date. I've never been out with a boy before. 
uh, uh, well, I, I don't know. Maybe we could uh, hold, <clears throat> uh, hold hands? Although I tried to sound casual, I can't help but stumble over my words. This really isn't coming naturally to me at all. I must look so stupid. Nah, she probably thinks you look cute. You think? Yeah. <laughs> no one Reminds else seems me of a to certain think. Person. Oh, huh? Nothing. Oh, it, you you were. Yeah. Nope. Uh, no, no, nothing. You sure? Mm -hmm. uh, yep. Okay. Move okay. on. No one else seems to think so, too. Because she takes pity on me. That's all right. You don't need to force yourself. Acting so rashly may bring about discomfort. Y yeah, that's true. M maybe a little. Instead, shall we spend time together and talk like we usually do? That sounds about right, yeah. But then... We'll just be doing things what we always do, I suppose. How is that a date? Hmm... Maybe the exact terminology doesn't matter. Huh? What do you mean? I mean... Words do not express ideas very well. I think... People try to define their lives by arbitrary words and phrases too often. But it's the actions behind the terminology that's the most important. I think instead of worrying about whether this is a date or not, we should just try to have fun. That's what I think. Fuck what the haters say. <laughs> <laughs> it just seemed like I needed that. Called it. <laughs> what she said is a little hard to understand, but I think I get it. I find words very tricky as well, but that might just because... I'm bad at expressing myself. Although, I am still curious. Curious? Hmm. I would like to know what a date feels like. Especially if it's with you. After all, you are my best friend. I can't. Well, my uh, heart hurts. Uh, um... <laughs> I'm uh, gonna save this real quick and yeah. Oh. Do you have this empty spot? Winding roads. Yeah, you can you can cry. 